Do not step off the path on this backrooms level, because if you do, you're gonna regret it. Hey y'all, I'm Brugly, and today I'm gonna be explaining backrooms level 360. Let's get into it, shall we? So, Backrooms Level 360, at its simplest form, is a winding, foggy, concrete road that stretches out for an unknown distance. It might be infinite, but to be honest, we have no idea. The level is classified as a Class 5 difficulty because it is very unsafe and unsecure, and it has multiple environmental factors that make it very unsafe. The long, windy road that I just talked about is the bare bones part of the level, and it's where you spawn in. It's kind of like a blank slate. It's just really liminal looking and mystifying, and just a huge expanse of foggy concrete with lights shining down on it. The level starts to get dangerous when a person begins to walk on it and interact with it by touching stuff. And it does this through something called manifestations. So these things are reality bending and warping events that change the state of the road and all of your surroundings. So pretty much everything changes. Think of it like Thanos using the reality stone on you. That's virtually how it is. So far, none of these manifestations have been the exact same, and they're normally uniquely different. Now, to give you an idea of what a manifestation might look like, I'm going to go over three cataloged ones right now. So this wanderer got to this level, level 360, from level 201 when they sat down on a patch of black sand to tie their shoe. Now once they were sent to this level, the road went from looking like it did at the beginning to looking like a very old and broken road with concrete potholes and cracks in it. The wanderer says that the rest of the surroundings looked like level 64, except there was no roof on it. Level 64 is an infinite house that changes its own layout constantly, by the way, if you didn't know. So this person said that there were pieces of furniture that were floating in the sky, pieces of stuff that was on the road, and it was pretty much like a huge house, but no roof and a road going through it. After they saw all that furniture and stuff, a heavy blizzard started on the level and it was so windy and icy that all of the surroundings were breaking and crumbling around this guy and the wanderer barely escaped to tell the tale. Manifestation 2 so this wanderer was on level 45 when she fell into its void there and tried to reach up and grab something and she ended up touching a light pole which took her here to level 360. Now unlike the first manifestation, this one had a perfectly fine road with no cracks and no potholes, but the road was curving through a big mountain area. The wanderer said that her skin was very dry and that the atmosphere was very hot, kind of like just a desert. The level kept getting hotter and hotter until she noticed a blindingly white light come through the hills and then kind of cover the entire level. And when the entire level cleared up and the white light went away, the level looked like a broken down road and it looked like it was being fixed up because there was abandoned trucks and signs and that kind of thing everywhere around. So it went from being a perfect road with no cracks or anything to being a broken down desert road. And the area around this new road was a deep red desert instead of the mountain that it used to be. This wanderer apparently found a community deep inside of this manifestation and they haven't returned since. So this person's level changed completely while she was on it. It went from that mountain road to a broken down desert one. Interesting. The last manifestation that I'll go over for this video happened when a wanderer came from level 404 and ended up here. His manifestation looked like a weird dirt path with strange trees surrounding it. The trees were in this huge forest and they were all colorful and that kind of thing. And some of the trees were actually flipped upside down completely and some of them were also floating above him in the sky. So it sounds like he might have had some spiked almond water or something earlier because this sounds crazy. But this wanderer was apparently in a bad mental state from level 404 and he never escaped his manifestation in level 360 and was never seen 
seen from again. So drop a rip in the chat for this random guy. But yeah, as you can see, most of these manifestations have some kind of road or path leading through a very different and strange environment. We have no idea how the manifestations are chosen, or if the level chooses them, or what happens, but we do know that some of them are more dangerous than others. If you attempt to walk off the base road of level 360 while your manifestation is starting or before your manifestation starts, you'll actually go off and fall into a massive 400 deep black pit. And this pit could be full of entities or something, we don't really know. <laughs> All we know is that it's just a massive black void type pit on every side of this road. And you can fall into it if you stray from the path. So don't. There are also a couple of level exclusive entities that are very interesting, to say the least, that live here. The first one is known as the Living Cars. It's classified as a class 2 difficulty, and it seems to be kind of just a sentient car. They're constantly driving throughout all of the roads on level 360. All of the manifestations tend to have a car of some sort, and they're often seen with their headlights on. They have weird logos on them, and they just seem otherworldly. Sometimes they'll just stop if they see you, and then you can actually get into the car, but once you get into the car, you're kind of stuck in there because they go really fast, like 200 miles an hour. And if you stay in that car for long enough, you'll begin to get headaches and you'll kind of start feeling like your head's pounding. So you need to get out as fast as you can. And the only way to stop the car is to find the emergency chain brake and pull it somewhere inside of it. The next entity has been called the star in the distance. And this entity is classified as a class four difficulty because it's extremely dangerous way more dangerous than the sentient car. The good news is, it's really rare, but that's also pretty bad. I don't know. It looks like a glowing green ball that's just floating out in the distance, like you can barely see it twinkling. If you do see this star ball thing, do not look at it, because once you've started staring at it, it'll pull you towards itself, and you will not be able to move, like you're just kind of trapped in a levitating pose and it'll just be floating in the sky and after this it's thought that the orb releases some kind of radiation to consume its prey so if you see that just please look away the last entity is a broad term for creatures here and it's the shadowed beings and this one is classified as a class 5 difficulty because they are really really dangerous and they're really really prevalent all over the level at first, these entities just look like pitch black humanoid shadow creatures that just resemble humans. But trust me, they are way more aggressive. They have six fingers on each hand and other strange things like wings and horns and that kind of thing. These shadow creatures normally hide just outside of the lights beyond the road and they stare at you and stalk you before pouncing. So just be careful where you're walking and avoid all dark areas if you can. There are also some manifestations that are similar that I'll mention right now before the end of the video. Multiple people have claimed to see graveyards, shadow zones, and tundras. And these are the three really recurring types of manifestations that are kind of the same, but not really. And specifically, those shadow zones are extremely dangerous because that's where the most shadowed beings live. But the other ones, like the graveyard and the tundras, look creepy. There actually is a base on level 360, and I hinted at it earlier. It's called the Travelers of level 360. Little is known about them, but what is known is that there's around 30 people that live there. To enter this level, you can try to noclip through a road on level 9, or you can touch a street light on level 45. To exit, you can try to noclip into a concrete slab to be sent to level 69, or if you touch fire on the level, you'll be sent to level 666, which kind of sucks, but oh well. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this level. Check it out below if you want to see the full explanation and stuff like that. And if you want to see my vlog channel and travel channel, check the link below as well. I want to thank you all so, so much for your insane support. I literally cannot believe how much the channel is growing. I'm so appreciative. I love each and every one of you. Hope you're ready for what's coming out. Make sure you have the notifications turned on so you see it first. I have so many cool videos and levels. I, this is going to be awesome. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video.